Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Charlestown Races here on Saturday to September the 22nd, 2018. Going to look at all the stakes races on tonight's program from Charlestown, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Like I said, I'm going to look at all the stakes races, races 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and race 12. So races 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So let's get on to it. A lot of races to look at tonight. The fifth race from Charlestown is the race I'm going to be begin with. The fifth race, it's the Henry Mercer Memorial Purse, $50,000. This race is for West Virginia Brad's two-year-olds here. Field 10 horses going to the post. The distance of ground of 900 meters with a distance of ground of four and a half furlongs on the Charlestown main track. 900 meters, four and a half. And I show the diagram, it just gives me a second to look down at my notes, just bear with me. I can't do two things at the same time, especially at 3.15 in the morning. <laughs> my top selection, I like the number four horse here. The four horse, Bootsy Boy, going to go 481 in the Tricast, so the Trifecta. 481, Tricast, Trifecta. Top selection of four horse, Bootsy Boy. Zero Gelling by Windsor Castle. Gerald Amador uh, is on this one for John Casey. The horse's most recent outing came the 13th of September at Charlestown. Sopi going four and a half in a main special weight for 20,000 the horse went by three legs on lead all throughout uh, you know just had a very good clear inside victory good good race for this horse there it took three starts to get the, the victory but with every start this horse was improving before that 30th of august at charlestown four and a half main special weight 23,000 the horse finished third by length there you know had a, a little bit of a trouble trip at the end that you know had to take check up a little bit which probably cost the horse a better position there and then before that charlestown ninth of august Four and a half in um, main special weight for 23,000. Horse finished third by one and a half lengths. Set the pace early on, going quite fast, but then he just couldn't keep up with them. He just kind of uh, closed up for, uh, you know, weakened out of it for seconds, or excuse me, third. But, um, you know, his last one was very good. He's been on the uh, the up and up, and I think in this spot, I'll take my chance with him at four to one. So watch out. So to recap my selections for the fifth from Charlestown, it's the Henry Mercer Memorial. Going to go with the four horse Bootsy Boy. Going to go four, eight, one in the tri cast of the trifecta. So now let's get on to race. Race number seven from Charlestown. It's the Frank Gall Memorial. Purse fifty thousand dollars. This race is for West Virginia Brides three year olds and upwards. Field of eight horses going the distance of ground here of fourteen hundred meters with the distance of ground of seven furlongs on the Charlestown main track. Fourteen hundred, seven furlongs. Top selection here. I like the number two horse, the two horse Jack's. Uh, hopefully say this right. Pardon me if I don't. Jax Brandon Rishi. I'm gonna go two seven one in the tricast of the trifecta. Two seven one tricast trifecta. Top selection of two horse. Um, Jax Brandon Rishi. Three old gilding by Yes It's True. J D Acosta picks up the mounts. The horse's most recent outing came the 31st of August at Charlestown. Six and a half in a lounge race for 24 grand. The horse finished second by a neck there. You know, he just stalked most of the race. Up until about the 16th, had to leave, but then he got overtaken by Grumple and Stillskin, who overtook this horse at the end. Ran his heart out there. I think coming back here, getting the extra furlong, he's a half furlong, he's really went a lot better. Before that, Churchill, excuse me, Churchill, not Churchill, uh, Charlestown, seven furlongs, August 18th, and the RG Levitt uh, stakes. The horse finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths there. It was very wide and was drifting, which caused this horse a better position at the end. It wasn't the day to win. And then at the 6th of July here at Charlestown, 7 from the Lions race, 24,000. Horse finished second by 1 3 quarter lengths. He set the pace early on, and then he just kind of got overtaken in the stretch, and then then had to check up. It wasn't the day to win. But his last victory was a very impressive one at Mountaineer. Six frongs off turf and Lance race 15,000 mid-May. The horse won by three and a half length, stalked early, and then he just took off clear. Good victory. This horse is eight and two locally, but the, the, the wins came quite a while ago. His most recent Charlestown win came at the distance back in February, where this horse won by three quarters length, going away easily. I like the post draw today. You know, J.D. Acosta could be an aggressive rider. If he wants to take this horse to the front end, if he can get away with it, I think he can win six to one. Watch out for him. So to recap my selections for the seventh from Charlestown, it's the Frank Gall Memorial. Gonna go with the two horse Jacks, Brendan Rishi. Gonna go two seven one in the Tricast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number. 
Race number eight from Charlestown. It's the Rachel's Turn Stakes purse one. Excuse me, purse fifty thousand dollars. This race is re registered West Virginia bred Phillies two year olds here. Field of ten horses going the distance of grounds of nine hundred meters with the distance of ground of four and a half furlongs on the Charlestown main track. Nine hundred meters, four and a half furlongs. Top selection here. Gonna go to the outside horse, to the number 10 horse, Battleground Star. Gonna go 10 2 7 in the Tricast of the Trifecta. 10 2 7, Tricast Trifecta. Top selection, 10 horse, Battleground Star. Two are fully by Astrology here. Ar Arnando Boca Chica gets the leg up for Jeff Runco. The horse is most recent outing and only outing came the 4th of August locally. Four and a half in a main special weight for 23,000. And this horse put on a show. One by two and a quarter lengths there. You know, sat back early, but got the lead and then he just took off a very good victory um you know i think coming back here you know this race is not nearly as tough as the last one also i just think he'll really do well he's had the most impressive start out of anybody and he's had the most he has the best workout patterns also his most recent workout came the 17th of september which was monday here at charlestown three front workout 35 and three the fifth best workout of 15 and then did the 11th of september the week earlier on a sloppy track here at charlestown Three furlongs and 38 flat, the uh, 10th best workout, 13. So I think he's rearing to go. I like him a lot here today. He has a great pedigree, and I think he'll do be doing something in these West Virginia races uh, later this year. So watch out for him. So to recount my selections for the 8th from Charlestown, it's Rachel's turn stakes. Going to go with the 10 horse Battleground Star. I'm going to go 10 2 7 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. Race number nine now from Charlestown. It's the last enchantment stakes. Purse thirty five thousand dollars. Race for three year olds and upwards. West Virginia Reds here. Field of twelve horses. The eleven and twelve are also eligible, so only ten could go with the distance of ground here of nine hundred meters with the distance of ground of four and a half furlongs on the Charlestown main track. Nine hundred meters, four and a half. My top selection here in the ninth. I like the three horse unrideable blue. I'm gonna go three eight ten in the tricast of the trifecta. Three eight ten tricast trifecta. Top selection the three horse unrideable bull on the Sporio Gallon by Bulls Bay here. Uh, Gustavo La Rosa is on this one. The horse is most recent outing. He hasn't started this year, but he's most recent outing in the fourteenth of October of last year at Charlestown. Seven prongs in the West Virginia Breeders Classic Lotto Stakes, whatever they, how they call the race. He finished fourth by twelve and a half lengths. You know, from a wide post he stalked early on, had the lead, and then he just hit the wall in the around the far turn, final quarter. It just wasn't his day to win, but that was at the end of a very tough, you know, campaign this horse had in 2017. I think here first off the break, I think he'll really run well. Before that, in the uh, F. Gall Memorial here at Charlestown, September 23rd, the race we had earlier, he, he won the race by a, by a half length, almost on lead all throughout after a horrible break you know he, he won for fun at the end but like i said he had a horrible break and then the rj levitt stakes at charlestown seven furlongs last august horse won by four lengths and again set the pace and then he just took off clear i think coming back here four and a half furlong speed favoring horse speed favoring race he should really run a big one so watch out so to recap my selections for the ninth from charlestown's last enchantment stakes I'm gonna go with the three horse unrideable bull i'm gonna go three eight to ten in the tricast of the trifecta so now let's get on to race Race number 10 from Charlestown. It's the Pink Ribbon Stakes. Purse $50,000. This race is for fillies and mares, three-year-olds and upwards. Field of 10 horses going to the post. A distance of ground of 1,400 meters with a distance of ground of seven furlongs on the Charlestown main track. 1,400 meters, seven furlongs here top selection in this race i like the number one horse sweet legacy i'm gonna go one seven six in the tricast of the trifecta one seven six tricast trifecta top selection of one horse sweet legacy five-year-old mare by candy ride jose lascano gets leg up for george arnold the horse's most recent outing came the 14th of july at indiana mile 16th indian in the indiana distaff stakes the horse finished eighth by 10 lengths he stalked early on but then he just kind of hit the wall couldn't keep up it wasn't the day to win on turf but, you know, it was his first and probably last turf race. His dirt race is a lot better. Before that, Char it's just not Char Charlestown now, Churchill. Why do I keep mixing up, mixing them up? They're two completely different race courses. But Charles, uh, again, what, what the hell? 
I can have the excuse it is 3.30 in the morning, but the um, the race before 23rd of June at Churchill, one mile in obsolete claimer. The horse finished fifth by 11 three quarter lengths there, and he just had a little traffic trouble going around the turn after stalking, and he just got, you know, shuffled back too far. It wasn't the day to win. And then 27th of April at Keeneland, mile 16th obsolete claimer. Horse finished second by length. He ran his heart out after setting the pace early on. He, you know, he, 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 he ran a, you know, he didn't run half bad there. Um, and then, you know, his race is before, um, you know, he, he ran in a first off the break of Keeneland going three quarters mile. He definitely need the race there. And then he ran at Tampa in the wayward last stakes in mid, uh, January going a mile 16th. He finished third by five and a half lengths. He had a wide trip and really couldn't keep up with them. But his better races have been against lower quality horses. Not to knock this field. They're not as tough as the races as he's facing at Churchill. And, um, you know, I think he'll, you know, I think he'll really run well here today. Distance should be well. Speed from the inside, 10 to 1. Or you definitely want to use on your multi-race ticket. So to recap my selection for the 10th from Charlestown, it's the Pink Ribbon Stakes. Going to go with the One Horse Sweet Legacy. I'm going to go 176 in the Tri-Cast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number 11. The 11th race from Charlestown, it's the Grade 3 Charlestown Oaks. Purse $300,000. This race for Phillies of 3-year-olds here. Field of 13 horses, but the 11 through 13 are also eligible, so only 10 could go. The distance of ground of 1400 meters, or the distance of ground of seven furlongs on the Charlestown main track. 1400 meters, seven furlongs. Let me fix my chair here for a second. My chair keeps falling down. There's something wrong with it. There we go. Um, See, I let my dad borrow my chair because uh, the one for the desk out in the um, in the uh, office um, broke, and uh, let him borrow this. Now, since he gave it back to me, it's all been falling down. It's my chair. I don't want to borrow it. I don't like sharing chairs, but um, I had to because I'm a good son. But uh, yeah, he gave it back to me. He gave it back to me broken. But um, that's why I keep. If, you, if, if you've been noticing through the video, I've been getting lower and lower. It's because of the fucking chair. But um, my top selection here in the Charlestown Oaks. Um, I like the number five. Five horse here, um, Albur. Uh, let's hopefully say this right. Pardon me if I don't. Albur, Bello, Arbello. I'm gonna go uh, five eight two in the tricast of the trifecta. Five eight two tricast trifecta. Top selection of five horse, El Berry Bello. Uh, three year old filly by Bernardini. John Velasquez gets leg up for China Horse Club and and um, Kyle Pletcher. Um, the horse's most recent outing came the 26th of July at Saratoga. Sloppy seal going a mile and eighth in a lounge race, ninety thousand. Horse had the speed which you want to win on two turns at Saratoga on the main track. Horse won by five and three quarter lengths, almost on lead all throughout. Had a very good closing victory there before that 31st of May at Belmont six and a half lounge race 77,000 the horse went a second by three quarters length and didn't break all that well stalked most of the race just couldn't catch the winner but he, he ran decently there off the break and then the 14th of April Keeneland seven furlongs main special weight 70, 73,000 horse went by six and a half lengths from Y post draw stalked early and then just took off clear great move for this horse he won for fun there um, I think coming here um, John Velasquez up game he could be maybe a little aggressive here I think that would be a good thing and I think this horse could run a big one five to one watch out for him so to recap my selection for the featured 11th race from Charlestown it's the grade three Charlestown Oaks gonna go with the five horse gonna go five eight two in the tri cast of the trifecta so now let's get on to race Race number 12 from Charlestown. It's the Sadie Hawkins Stakes. Purse $50,000. This race is for West Virginia Reds, Phillies Mayors, three-year-olds, and upwards. Field of nine horses going the distance of ground here of 1,400 meters with the distance of ground of seven furlongs on the Charlestown main track. 1,400, seven furlongs. Top selection here in the nightcap. I like the number nine horse, My Sweet Charity. Gonna go nine three eight in the tricast of the trifecta. Nine three eight tricast trifecta. Top selection nine horse, My Sweet Charity. Four year old filly by charitable man here. Antonio Lopez gets the leg up. The horse's most recent outing came the thirtieth of August at Char Charlestown. Seven furlongs, the lounge race twenty four thousand. The horse finished second by two and a half lengths. You know he had a decent turn of from the back of the pack. It, it wasn't a bad race. He is coming to Stakes Company for the first time in a few months you know i think he should he should really run well here he's been on the improvement since his last stakes run i think before that an allowance race at mountaineer six rungs august 4th horse finished second by six and a quarter lengths the winner trx express just ran a hell of a race but this horse was definitely second best he got around the race course well and then back here at, then back at mountaineer again muddy seal going five and a half allowance race fifteen thousand horse went by two and a quarter lengths sat back early but he had a very good turn of foot at the end there's there's a lot of pace in this race and i think this 
he's the, the pace should really suit for a closer. I think he's a closer here sh that should do well. So watch out for him. He's 25 and four here at Charlestown, so he's had some victories here. Watch out for him to run a big one at 6 to 1. So to recap my selection for the 12th from Charlestown, it's the Sadie Hawkins Stakes. Gonna go with the nine horse, my sweet charity. Gonna go 9 3 in the TriCast or the Trifecta. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck.